We're now going to have a look at the properties of beta radiation, and for this we're going to use this called strontium-90 source. So like before, the radioactive source is stored inside the lead-lined box, and I'm using the tongs to get it out to do so safely, and then I can put it in the holder. And already we can see that with the source some distance away from the detector, the GM tube, that we're detecting um, quite a lot of beta radiation coming from the strontium-90. And this is showing that it is more penetrating than the alpha radiation. And in fact, it will travel several meters through air. So let's put it a little bit closer and see what the effect is of putting a piece of paper in. Remember, paper stops alpha radiation, but the paper barely has any effect so the paper is not absorbing the beta radiation. So let's try something a <coughs> um, little bit denser than paper and see how that does. Uh, so we've got a couple of millimetres of aluminium here that we can pop in. And we can see by putting in a couple of millimetres of aluminium, that is now absorbing virtually all the beta radiation. So we would say that beta radiation has a medium penetrating power. It's stopped by a few millimetres of aluminium or by metres of air. So now I can put away my strontium-90 and we can move on to the final kind of radiation.